How's it going? I'm Danny Pudi. I am originally from Chicago, Illinois, and now I live in Los Angeles, California. So when I was a kid, I had um, many um, future dream jobs. My first dream job was to be an athlete, but I discovered pretty quickly that my body wasn't made for professional sporting. I wished I could be like, you know, Michael Jordan, you know, like literally like the song. So in terms of school, I was like, maybe I'll be a sports broadcaster because I could be close to the action, but then I don't get hurt, which would make my mom really happy. My family wanted me to be a doctor or a priest, um, but you know, I'm not really great with science, I'm scared of blood, and I also like women, so it, was, it just didn't work out altogether. <laughs> Eventually I realized my skills were better suited towards the arts. So uh, I'm from an immigrant family growing up in Chicago. My dad was born in India and my mom was born in Poland. So I didn't have many role models that looked like me growing up. So I guess I had a lot of role models. I think music was really important in our home, in our family. So we were always listening to music. My family made me dance. I had to do folk dance as a kid, uh, which was bizarre. On Saturdays, my friends were you know, watching cartoons and playing baseball and I was doing traditional Polish folk dancing, which probably led me to where I am today, uh, mentally and career-wise. Like when I was a kid, there really weren't many multicultural perspectives on television. There just weren't, in film or television. And if there were, you know, it was like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and people were holding magic rocks and eating monkey brains, which was amazing to watch. I don't know how true it is. I don't know how based in reality it is. And so for me, I, it was definitely something I was always thinking about as I was performing, as I was getting, studying, as I was, you know, getting into the arts more and more, I really was aware of, you know, my individual voice, but also at the same time, perception. Like what, you know, how important that is to kids growing up. And especially for me, because I actually, I feel like I come from a very non-traditional background because I am Indian, but I'm also Polish. And so I speak Polish. And so when I tell people that, like there really aren't any people who look like me or come from my background that are on like television or film. And so, uh, to me, I, it did feel a little lonely sort of growing up because I always felt like, is this something that's possible for me? Like, who, no one understands me. One of my first, I mean, role models actually, as I got older, kind of um, growing up was Cal Penn, of course, because I couldn't believe there was a movie, Harold and Kumar, where there was two Asian Americans, but also somebody that looks kind of like me in a comedy playing someone who's like, kind of like me. That to me was like just a huge, huge step. In college, I started doing some theater. I did some musical theater, and I started to really like it. And um, I danced, too. And so in college, though, I started to sort of get the bug. And um, that's when I started to really think about uh, theater or comedy as a profession. And then I got lucky. I won a scholarship at Marquette University. Um, it's where Chris Farley went to school, and after he passed away, they established a scholarship in his name for using humor in a positive manner, and I was the first recipient, and I was very lucky and thankful, and that kind of led me to sort of think about what, what do people do who are interested in this. I learned that he started at Second City in Chicago, and before he went on to Saturday Night Live and Tommy Boy and, and his fame, so... Uh, that led me to Second City. That's when I really started taking comedy seriously and I realized you can't just pour mashed potatoes on your head to be funny. You can. Uh, but if you really want to like take it seriously and um, you know develop sort of uh, your own voice as a comedian, um, I was given a chance there. So my first acting job when I got to LA I think was a Verizon commercial that was for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean the movie, and this was pretty spectacular because I got to go to the Bahamas to go for a commercial to uh, shoot on the actual ship, the ghost ship. So it was pretty crazy. And I thought like, wow, this is so easy. Then it was a while before I got another job, but it, it was kind of amazing. But then I just started doing theater, taking classes within the improv community. And then I received my first TV gig. My first television um, role was one line on the West Wing, which was guest list for the Cleveland event. And I got to give a piece of paper to Brad Whitford as I swiped across the screen. Sometimes I still get tweets with like, you can see half my face. That was me. It was me. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm lucky. I'm very fortunate that I've been given opportunities and I have access to opportunities now that I didn't have when I was first starting out and that weren't there really. So now, yeah, I get a chance to explore characters that are different ethnicities that do have accents, some don't, that are directed by Indian Americans. I just did a TV show that was directed by Nisha Ganatra, and um, I wasn't playing 
any kind of Indian-ish character. It was just a person, you know, it was just a showrunner. And I think that's a big part of it too. I think there are more and more Indian Americans, but also Asian Americans behind the camera, writing and directing. And I think that is like largely, I don't know if it's talked about as much, but I think it's, it's vital to our portrayal on TV, our portrayal in film really is is people who are writing the stories. And I think we need more of that um, because it's like most people write what they know. They write who they were surrounded with. They write their crazy aunt and uncle. But if your crazy aunt and uncle was Asian American, you'll write about that, you know? And I want to play that person. So um, it's gotten better there. And I'm encouraged by the diverse voices I'm starting to see in writer's rooms and behind the camera because I think that's huge for us. So please, if you want to write, if you want to direct, do it, do it and then hire me. I think, um, I think this is a, a magical time for openness and tolerance. Anytime there's sort of like a, um, doors are opening, windows are opening, some are closing at the same time, you know, because people are, you know, they're seeing a lot right now. And uh, more than anything, there's more, there's more mediums right now than there's ever been. You know, there's so much content, there's so many places where people can go see content. And I think there's such a need and urge to see that content. I think it's very clear that there is an audience for multicultural perspectives. There just is. I feel like it with multicultural families, multicultural comedy, drama, all of that, you know, uh, because it's a reality, you know, and I think there is an audience. And I think as we get more and more segmented, there is specific niche audiences that want to see stuff that is different, that is more like them, or maybe that isn't like them at all, but they just want to see what is that about, you know? I will say in television, I think there's definitely more of a movement, uh, I feel it personally, where there's a little bit more freedom, it seems to be more freedom, in terms of what you can do and in terms of opportunities. So I'm lucky that I've been able to find a couple of great roles and being able to work on, on shows that I'm very excited about, you know, like Community and uh, like a new show we're gonna call Powerless, where I'm not Indian American on both shows, which is like, to me, that is, I don't know if this would have happened 15 years ago. I, I don't think it would have. And so I'm very aware of that and thankful for that opportunity. And, um, and it, it's just, it's a cool thing, you know? I'm so thankful and happy to be part of this I Am campaign. I'm happy that there are faces now that people can kind of look to and say like, you know, I'm a little different or I have a little different perspective or uh, maybe I do want to explore um, comedy writing or maybe I do want to explore dance, you know? All these things are possible. And I think that's to me is something I really want to like stress to people. It's like all these things are possible, they're worth they're worth it. It's never easy, but I don't think anything is. And um, I think it's valuable on the whole to everyone, especially in our communities, which um, I know a lot of people struggle because they aren't given opportunities um, to pursue the arts and things like that within our communities. And to me, I think they're so valuable. They help you in everything that you do. You know, I use things that um, I have within me that the fact that I look different influences everything I do every day, and but now I use that in a positive way. I use that to sort of explore what does that mean, what does it mean to feel that way, and I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm very thankful, I'm happy to be part of the I Am campaign, and I'm hopeful that someone sees me that is young, that is like a young version of me, and is like, hey, that guy falls on his face a lot too. Maybe I can do some things that he's doing, you know, just don't fall as much as I do. In terms of like advice, I always tell people what's worked for me is Surround yourself with people who can do things you can't, but whose company you enjoy. I think that's really important. I always like to be around people who I find kind and funny and who are skilled in areas maybe I'm not as skilled in. You learn more when you're surrounded by good people, you know, and I think you have more fun in life when you're surrounded by good people. So, because to me, I think that this is a, it's a life. It's not just a job that you're pursuing. And so why not make it fun every day? Um, be kind and be funny with kind and funny people. That's to me like what's helped me the most. Hi, I'm Danny Pudi. I am happy and I'm confused. <laughs>